George did not really know what to do with the Jedi or figure out what it was because he was making it up as he went along, which all good creatives do. The problem being is that you also had a lot of people who love Star Wars who ended up working in the EU. Badger, you mentioned the Jedi Code. The Jedi Code is hypocritical to the two Jedi that we saw in the original trilogy. They have emotion. They have wisdom. It's about control. Mm. It's not, there's only the force and there's all, there's it's, no it's emotion. So, there is no, yeah, that's BS. That is, yeah. Does it mean you don't have emotions? It means you're aware of them and you control them. No, it doesn't. That is your no, fuck, yeah, That's a hundred percent what it means. And this nope, is not the stream not. to go down with you, but yeah, trust me. Yeah. I'm not going to trust you what because it means. you believe in the Jedi oath and you ignore the movies. So the, the question being is that <laughs> you, you've heard George explain that. it. <laughs> What? <laughs> I've heard George oh. explain it in multiple videos. Yes, George, the guy who also said that Obi-Wan and Owen are brothers. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to retcon that in episode one. And Owen yeah, is Yeah, you go by the most recent commentary. Yes. He makes it up and he rewrites his history all the time. It's okay for him to do that. We love him for it because he's trying to experiment and do things new. But you have to remember that he doesn't really know, didn't really know what he was doing when it came to uh star wars he was just trying to tell experimental fun movies and he got some teams and then he abandoned star wars because his marriage fell apart after empire he used return of the show Jedi me on the doll where George and then just you. start it and worry about the merchandising and books which listen i think was a smart move for him because he kept it in the conversation for the people that loved it and he picked the right people to continue the story it didn't quite always jive with the original trilogy but you know what? People loved it. People kept buying it. He made great video games for it. Yeah. And he managed to set up and make the prequel trilogy. That I didn't make shit. Love. Lucas Arts did, which then Disney bought and canceled. But now that you seem to have some sort of weird personal grudge against George or whatever, because none of that is what I'm, I'm talking about. I actually talked to George I'm Lucas before. Have you? you no. buddy. Now Good let me you. talk because you guys, talked for a long fight. time. And by don't fight, I mean fight. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the unified personal. canon. Anything that didn't contradict the movies as of before Disney. And yes, the Jedi Code lines up just perfectly with the original trilogy and the prequels. You clearly don't accept a lot of different things. You have your own hierarchy. Good for you. Bro, you invalidated a lot of your opinions to me when you said the Immaculate Conception of Anakin and the Chosen One was stupid. So that is, is fundamental. <laughs> right, right. Which means... You and I, nothing is going to come from that conversation because we fundamentally disagree on many a thing. This isn't like a theory in me where it's just we had the similar ideas but a different interpretation. You and I just disagree 100%. Sorry. That's fine. But, I mean, the thing is you can't justify that the Jedi have to be this one way when we actually sure have documented evidence in the movies that say they're not. Where did Obi-Wan act emotionally compromised? We're not talking about emotionally compromised. We're talking about he's having. We are. That's emotion. exactly what I'm talking about. I'm saying Saul is emotionally compromised. He's ignoring. There is no emotion. There is peace. He's instead of acknowledging his emotions and letting them go, he's being controlled by them. And then you said, ah, oh, but we saw Jedi in the first one. That are... Okay. So please show me where following when you Luke is a full Jedi, Obi -Wan he's emotionally compromised. Emotion Han Solo? You don't think Obi-Wan showed emotion caring for Luke Skywalker? That is emotion, man. No, that's empathy. That's caring. You empathy seem to not understand emotion. the idea of being. <laughs> see how emotionally compromised you are by how you think you're right, and so you're getting upset that I'm pointing out the movies. You're talking about emotional you compromising, which is fine, but you're basically trying to say that the Jedi, the, the Jedi oath, which is also BS, is that it's supposed to basically it's all turn BS and not make them um, Jedi Vulcans. They're just supposed to be more like Vulcans. What? No. No, no, no. Yes, because Vulcans emotional compromising no is what emotion. basically Vulcans try to prevent from happening with them. And I'm like, that's not the Jedi. The Jedi. Well, first care. of all, the balls of you to compare anything from Star Trek they to Star Wars, but okay. Vulcans have no emotions. emotions for the Jedi, the which comprise of many species, acknowledge their emotions and then let them go. Bro, come on. Well, they don't. You sound dumb. Oh, let's read the chat. See them roast you. Because that's not cool. Two ad hominems. Oh, come on. Vulcans and Jedi are not comparable. Jedi code no, is a not. mantra. It's something, something to terrible. it's a it's a pathway to understand understanding and using the force. There is no emotion. There is peace is the first one because if you're emotionally compromised while using the force, like right now, I should fucking force compromise. lightning at I'm you, but I don't have the force. But, but that's what I'm talking about. My point is, is in the first movies and in the original ones, Jedi are supposed to control their emotions. Saul, who is a Jedi and a master one at that, does not control his emotions, and that. Is why he should follow the Jedi code. Now, I don't know what part of that beyond the Jedi uh, order is bullshit. It doesn't count. Okay. I didn't say the Jedi order is BS. I said the oath is BS. The oath is the order. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of conjecture. One in the same. 
This is keep going, guys. Don't, what, what's that? It's just hard to This is an immovable force. There's <laughs> settle it. We fun the debate. And I like him too. That's the keep going. I ain't heard no bill. I ain't heard no bill. Keep going, baby. Disagree with the nature of what constitutes as canon and the force and George's vision and all of that. And you would have to go down a like a list of like for first, what do you consider Star Wars canon? The movies. Okay, that's a canon. That's it's the highest canon, canon, but that that's not the, the only. Can- that well, see, that's what I'm saying. So that we got to stop right there because that's not the only canon. And clearly, we're seeing they're pulling at anything but the movies. They're pulling from all the expanded universe well, that kept Disney. those fucking movies alive in between uh, the original trilogy and the prequel, which is where a lot of the animus comes from. By the way, it's all just. Well, just I mean, listen, this the debate's prequel, going nowhere. I feel sorry for the EU fans because the prequel really did you know, give them a run for their money. It changed a lot of their stuff, a lot of what they knew up until that point. I mean, listen, Anakin Solo was the one that knew how to fix things magically. It wasn't Anakin Skywalker, but George picked that from the EU and he put it to Anakin. 